Hi there folks and welcome to this special edition of Synth Tutorial commemorating 60 years of the synthesizer with computer music. In this edition we're going to be going back to the 80s and exploring a track by a band called Duran Duran. They had a huge hit with a track called Save a Prayer. We're going to be doing something that sounds incredibly similar to Save a Prayer, but our version will be called Save a Patch, obviously, and we'll be subtly changing some of the notes to avoid copyright issues, but the sound itself is the same. This is a sound that was heard on the introduction to the track and created a very evocative opening to create the tone for the song to follow. It was originally created on the hardware version of the plugin that we have in front of us, the Roland Jupiter 8, and the version of the Jupiter 8 we're looking at today is the one created by the people that invented the machine, Roland. And in fact, for our money, this is by far the closest clone to the original hardware. So let's dive right in. So the first obvious thing to do is open up a version of whichever door you choose to use, we're working in Logic today, and then load up an instance of the Roland Jupiter 8 plugin. We want to initialize our patch, but one of the best ways of doing this is to very simply create a new patch location where we can save our sound. So we'll start by moving down to the right hand side of the plugin, you'll see that there's a white button with patch. Click on that. At this point it opens up the preset browser and you can see all the roll and presets that are shipping with the plugin. We're going to create a new bank that will have our own sounds in it, so moving to the left hand side of that patch window you'll see there's a yellow button with new click on it. We now have 64 new patch locations where we can save our own sound. So we may as well save it to the first location which is labelled A1. Moving down to the bottom right hand side of that window there is a rename button. If you hit that a text field will open up. We can now type in the name of our patch which we're going to call save a patch. Now as this Roland Jupiter 8 plugin is modelled on a traditional Jupiter 8 we're going to write that patch into memory and we do that by hitting the write button. Having written that patch into the plugin we now have to double click on it to bring the patch up. We can now shut the patch select window and we now have an initialized patch to work with. You can see that this is endorsed by the fact that it says save a patch across the middle. One of the reasons for the popularity of the Jupiter 8 was because it was a two oscillator per voice polysynth that actually sounded huge but was relatively easy to use and part of that rationale is because of the way it was laid out. Its signal flow was always very obvious and a total delight to use. So the initial timbral elements that give this patch its sound all emanate from the two oscillators playing triangle waves. So we're going to go to VCO1 first of all, VCO stands for voltage controlled oscillator and we're going to take the waveform selector switch and nudge that up by clicking and holding on it and dragging it until it says try which also reveals the triangle waveform at the top there. We need to do the same process on VCO2 so moving over to the VCO2 legend we go to the waveform selector and select triangle wave on that as well. The volume of VCO1 and VCO2 are controlled from the oscillator mixer section which is just to the right of the VCOs themselves. You can see that at the moment VCO1 is set to a level of 129. We need to turn up VCO2 to a level of around about 150. So clicking and holding on the pot, drag it up until you reach a value of approximately 150. Having made those alterations to the oscillator you should now be hearing a sound like this. So far it's not sounding very much like the sound we're after, so we now need to make some more alterations to VCO2. We need to change the range that the VCO2 is playing so it's one octave above VCO1. So moving to the range pot in the VCO2 section, click and hold and drag it to 4 feet. We are also going to detune VCO2 against VCO1, you can see there's a fine tune pot, we're going to drag that value up to around about 35 and when we play now you should hear a sound like this. It's time to now make some alterations to the way that the sound plays in terms of its envelope shape or volume, so we're going to move over to the far right hand side of the plugin where it says Env2. Envelope 1 and 2 are both assignable, but envelope 2 would always dictate the volume and amplitude settings. We need a relatively perky short sound for our patch, so we're going to go to the sustain fader and drag that all the way down so we no longer get a sustain. We also need to increase the decay setting to a value of around 100, and we're going to do the same with the release fader. Consequently we now have a sound a bit like this. The Jupiter 8 has a relatively comprehensive filter section. It's equipped with both a low pass and a high pass filter. 
The high pass filter is relatively self-explanatory because it says HPF here, but the section labeled VCF is actually a low pass filter. So we're going to take our cutoff frequency control and we're going to drag that down to a value of around about 150. And meanwhile, we'll change the high pass frequency value as well. We're going to take that up to a value of around about 85. What the high pass filter is doing is it's merely removing some of the low frequency content. So our patch should now sound like this. Next, we're going to use envelope 2, which if you remember, we're already using for amplitude duties, but we're also going to use it to modulate the low pass filter. This is very simple to do. We merely go back to the VCF section and you'll see there's a toggle switch between envelope 1 and envelope 2. Flick it down so that it's on envelope 2. Then we have to set an amount using the envelope mod fader. So we're going to drag that up so that it reads a value of around about 85. And now we have a sound that sounds like this. We're getting closer. The final part of the patch picture is that we need to add some effects. And in particular, we need to add some chorus. Roland have really helpfully included all the classic effects that you need to run alongside a Jupiter 8. So we're going to go down to the bottom right hand corner where you'll find the effects section. And underneath where it says delay type, if you click and hold on that pot, you can drag it up and eventually it will read chorus 1. Having selected chorus 1, we're going to change the level control which is underneath it to a value of around 20. At which point our colour and sound will change to this. And there's our patch. We have a little sound-alike sequence programmed into Logic, which sounds like this. The final element that we need to add is a tape delay. So by adding a tape delay that you have in Logic, or whichever the equivalent is in your door, set a value of eighth note dotted, and you will have a sound like this. which I think you will agree, sounds exactly the same as the opening to Save a Prayer. So that concludes our Save a Patch tutorial, and if you're lucky enough to have this plugin, do go explore. It's absolutely wonderful.